blizzard hit North Dakota one evening, Letisa and her six-year-old son were on the road one minute, and the next, they were driven into a ditch. They tried to get out, but the cold temperatures caused them to, to stay in their car. They huddled in the back, trying to keep warm until someone found them. Luckily for them, 16 hours later, a snowflower came by and found them. Later, Letisa said to the reporters that she had wished she had been more prepared. What I wanna talk about today is how we can be more prepared when we get into those kind of situations. Since we spend a lot of time in our cars, we can end up in a car accident any, any minute. So it's important to have a car kit in your car at all times. We can keep our car kits in a backpack just in case if an accident does happen and we need to be on foot, we can easily carry it on our shoulder if we leave the car. It's essential to have food and water. We can get the high calorie protein bars that replace a meal with just one bar. There's plastic water bottles last longer than, than any kind, but they deteriorate in the sun, so don't keep them in the sun too long. If you run out of water, you can have purification tablets. And these are great because if you find water in a pond or in a puddle nearby where you, where you crashed, you can collect that water and put this in there and it purifies the water so you can drink it. Then you have a fire extinguisher. It's important to get the right kind, which is B or C rating. If you don't have the right kind of fire extinguisher, it could make the fire worse if you spray it onto your car. It's great to have a first aid kit and for like bandages, ointments, any other things that you need to clean wounds, especially white wet wipes that these clean wounds very well. It's good to have a blanket. These space blankets can are very lightweight and easy to carry, but probably the better situation is to have a wool blanket because even if it gets wet, it'll still keep you warm. You're gonna want a phone charger because most likely your car uh, won't be able to char be charging your phone. Also, something that's really great to know is that you, even if you're not in a service area, you can call 911 and any phone service provider should be able to pick that call up and have the police track your phone. For a light situation, you have your flashlight and extra batteries. Also flares to get attention or it can start a fire but it's probably, more be it's probably better to have a lighter to start a fire. It's good to have one of these multi-purpose tools so that if you get into a situation where you need a tool, like to cut your seat belt off or to break a window, you're gonna wanna keep this in a glove department. Also, a whistle to get attention because yelling can cause, run out of, you can run out of energy and you can get attention with these. Also, to get attention by other cars, a reflective duct tape, you can put it on your clothes. And jumper cables are important for any car breakdown situation. You're gonna always want jumper cables. Toilet paper is obviously essential and a necessity um, for reasons that I don't think need explaining. Gloves are also good to have. Um, if you're moving and working about, but also to keep your hands warm. Last but not least, your tow rope. So if you get into a situation like Letisa and her son, you can be towed out of that ditch. In conclusion, cars break down, accidents happen. Um, according to AAA, 30 million people call a year who are stranded on the road.
with this car emergency kit, you'll be prepared if you're one of them. Thank you.